Our story began once again in the heart of our most beloved kingdom. Ruled by a council of fine ladies and gallant lords, with help and guidance from good and wise wizards. It was also home to the enchanted heroes of Trine, protectors of the realm. And while most people believed our kingdom to be the most pleasant and peaceful realm in all the world, some had plans to turn the kingdom upside down. <laughs> well? The Astral Academy is ours. Those dim-witted wizards didn't notice a thing before it was too late. And the device has been tested with success. I don't think the bigger size will pose a problem. Stone is stone. Well done. Now we can proceed to the next step in our plans. It is time to take care of the heroes of Trine. In the meantime, the first of our heroes, Zoya the Thief, was not on a very virtuous quest. Zoya's intention was to steal an ancient treasure map from the town library. Rumor had it the map revealed one of the few remaining hidden treasure troves left in the kingdom, the others having been looted by enterprising fortune hunters like Zoya herself. There, there, little beast. Now, quiet as a mouse. It's a library after all.
Hello? Talisman. Did you find a mouse? So, I'm not alone in the library. Talisman. It's raining. No rooftop adventures for you tonight.
Library vault and the treasure map should be somewhere up here. Oh, I should have asked for one of those new knights to guard the library at night. But they creep me out a little. The way they don't sleep or think or eat. And how would they know how to treat our books? New knights? Hmm.
So this is the reason why the treasure hasn't been found yet. This map is practically dust. Or maybe it's just my effective security system. Put the map down, thief. As far as I know, no one alive can lay claim to that map or its treasure. Get me some paper and ink. Let me copy that thing and I'll be out of your hair in no time. And if I shoot you, thief? Hmm, that might hurt a teensy bit, but I'm enchanted with mystical powers of trine, so I can probably take it. Just give me a library card and I check it out for a day? Precious pretty things don't belong in dusty old museums. Aren't you supposed to be a hero? Is this what they do? Harass civil servants at ungodly hours? Well, I can be heroic, if the occasion arises. In fact, I've just received an invitation from the Astral Academy. I'm to be rewarded with a medal. Apparently the big statue of me and my fellows on the town square isn't enough. Well, why don't you jog off to the Academy then? <laughs> It was unusual for Zoya to be unsuccessful with her plans, but the librarian had managed to distract her. However, in the meantime, Pontius the Knight was busy at work. As a protector of the realm, he was always called to help on any and many strange occasions. This time, he'd been called to deal with a troublemaker at a calm and quiet little graveyard. According to the report, dark magics are afoot here. So, let's see what all the fuss is about. Mushrooms seem dangerous. Better watch out if I run into more of them.
someone really had a grudge against this old tomb. Why? It's all turned to sand. The sand's a bit odd, though. Not something a fireball would do. Or a frost... Oh, what are they called? Not frostballs. Snowballs? No, that's not right, is it? I wonder if a wizard magic that box up the tree. Thing too, so I'm not disturbing any funerals. Happening. Wrong herbs? Maybe I need bigger candles. Is backwards really backwards, or is it actually the right way and I need to draw that backwards? Oh, come on, Gran, just pop your head up. Halt, evildoer. You're under arrest for crypt wrecking. 
Uh, what? Look here, my grand's grave is perfectly intact. For the time being. And it's not even a crypt. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> Sorry about that. Have you seen anyone recently who turned stone into sand? No, there's nothing suspicious going on here at all. Good night, sir. A young man leaving flowers and candles for his man. How nice. And some drawings too, eh? <laughs> All those circles and lines, it's a bit too modern for my taste. Let's see if I can find our villain in these ruins. My trusty shield always had me. Only the back of the graveyard to search through now.
I did it! I summoned the skeleton! Wow! You're arrested for necromancering! Uh, how about... No. Skeletons are way easier to summon than human! <laughs> Uh-oh! No! Wait! I'm your master! Obey me! Go oh, for duck's sake! Call back your skellies! I don't know how! I have no idea what I'm doing! Ah! The Clockwork Knights had recently replaced most of the ordinary humans as guardians of the kingdom. Sleepless, always reliable, and mechanically relentless, they had quickly become a permanent fixture across the lands. But Pontius was not sure he felt relieved or threatened when their forces swooped in to save him. My fellow knights! Sir Pontius, Lady Sunshine Crownsdale invites you to a celebration of the Heroes of Trine. Location, Astral Academy. Time, noon tomorrow. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, I'll get to see Amadeus and Zoya again. Uh, did you know that... Uh, Amadeus the wizard was not living his best life at that time. He was spending his days at a calming spa retreat, but this was happening somewhat against his will. Things had taken a rather dark turn at home, and the wizard's wife had asked that he find some new lodgings for himself. Thankfully, for the mere fee of letting the spa owner use his name for advertising, Amadeus could stay there while he regrouped. Amadeus the wizard, you have a visitor waiting for you at reception. Oh, that must be Margaret. She's come back to her senses.
Oh, this place is wonderful. But it's time I went back home. Goodbye, Buffet.
My bad. Sorry, sorry. I'll get there quicker if I take a shortcut. The path over the mountain. Maybe quicker, but it's also a bit more challenging. Not bad work, and you should see my six o'clock conjuration shows. Good grief! It was just some soap!
it's only here for the spa. Ah, the front desk is up here. Margaret, who or what are you? Amadeus the Wizard, Lady Sunshine Cransdale invites you to a celebration of the Heroes of Trine. Location, Astral Academy. Time, noon tomorrow. Celebration for the heroes of Trine. This will definitely help me smooth things over with Margaret. Amadeus, Pontius, and Zoya soon met at the Astral Academy to attend the party arranged in their honor. They had a rare opportunity to reminisce about their first meeting, which had taken place here in the hallowed halls of arcane mysteries. But something didn't feel quite right to them. If this was to be a celebration, where were all the other guests? Returning to the Astral Academy always feels like a homecoming. That's right. And it's where we started all our adventures together, all the way back then. Yes. How will I ever forget being abducted by a sentient artifact of power? Hmm, I see there have been all sorts of exciting new developments here. I wonder what this thing does. Who can tell? But I appreciate how shiny it is. Let's go get our fabulous tokens of recognition from this Lady Sunny so I can go continue my project. Sawyer, there's a hole in your clothes. You're usually in such pristine condition. I ran into something exciting on my way here. 